Hey guys, welcome back to more Mario and Luigi's Bowser's Inside Story for the Nintendo DS. I am the only Python for in a slice of gaming. I wonder what's in this preservation chamber. Let's take a quick look here. Access restricted, yeah we know. The very latest indoor security allows entry only when buttons are pushed in a specific order. Before pushing the door button, members will push other buttons the spe specified number of times. Only society members will be notified of the correct order and the number of button presses. If you think you'll forget the code, leave no notes around. However, Bowser is stopped by the fact that he can't jump. Perfect planning in his own castle. Why, why have access to his own crap? He just... He can't jump anywhere. He can't even get that thing up there. It's probably going to take over the entire planet, but, you know, Bowser can't jump, so... It's the perfect, perfect roadblock. Also, this room was full of monsters at one point, but I got rid of all of them before I started, so that way we can just keep on going with our adventure and see what this thing is. The latest Kingdom Vat, the Seesaw Fit, Bowser Castle debut. Jump as high as you can, slam down on the seesaw. Ride it, and when the seesaw peaks, jump and slam again. Slam your past regrets, slam your worst memories, slam and slam some more. Both stress and unwanted fat will slam away. But before we do any of that, is there anything interesting at the very bottom here in case we fall off? Of course there isn't. Let's go in the pipe again. And slam our way to victory slam our way to something. Items! Gotta get the items before we can do anything else, of course. I'm just that kind of person. Slam some more. Oh, I should've got that item. I'll just grab this one. There we go. So we'll repeat this a few times until we grab everything here, of course. Slam and slam away. At least I won't have very far to go here. Oh, oh, it's not there for- oh, of course, it's in the middle of seesawing. Okay. I thought there was something illogically wrong with that. It's like, why isn't it there? Shouldn't it be back there? Is this game making me have to go all the way around for no reason? Because that would be very cheap and ridiculous. And I'd be very angry. This way! Let's see what secrets are back here. 100 coins. Probably a very terrible secret, in my opinion, to be honest. But let's go the actual way that we're supposed to go. By slamming our fear and doubt and regret away. I have a feeling this is the real reason why Bowser put this in here. Oops, I guess I already made it to the top there, so. Oh well, what's one more slam? There. Treasure chamber. Not easy to get in here, no. The door's locked up tight. Unless you're a genius like me, you'll never figure it out. Wahahaha. <laughs> Alright, so at least we know the author of that note. Oh, there's some enemies here. I'm gonna go take care of them quick. Tooth Womp battles later, and another level up. Bowser's up at full strength here. Well, yes, he's fully healed, now that I think about it. And of course, this is just a pass back if you need to go back for any reason. In case you want to. I mean, I know I do. Because there's something I have been regretting for a very long time. Something I have been dreading since I started this walkthrough. And it's this upcoming boss battle. I hate this boss battle so much. So, so much. Like, you don't, you don't even know how much I hate this. <sighs> Here we go. Well, of course, after we solve this puzzle, of course. So this thing here tells us where we should put the uh, balls up ahead here. So, if we punch lightly, it goes in the first slot. And if we punch with a sliding punch, it goes in the last slot. So it's the same on both sides here, so we just have to push the balls in the right place and see if we get the right answer. There we go. 
And now, we can dread. Ah, the room where I keep my sweetest stolen treasures. This is the one place that stupid Fawful can never break into. This is Fawful we're talking about here. No, what? Your surliness! I found Sergeant Guy and Corporal Paraplonk. King Bowser, awesome seeing you again, sir! Our sweep of the castle indicates that it's intact, sir. Yep, thanks. Intact? Look at this train track! Whoa! Who put a train track down here? Next stop. Bowser Castle. Oh god, this boss battle. <laughs> now arriving at the always run down, falling apart, dirty, nasty thanks to Bowser's Castle. Oh, it's you guys! Hey, it's you idiots. Explain all of this now. <laughs> yeah, well, bro. As you can see, the secret project tunnel you ordered is finally finished, broski. Yeah, remember, Bro Town? You helped us drill the tunnel. Bah, I mean, I did, but... I don't remember telling you to build a railway directly into my secret treasure chamber. Bro? The secret tunnel got bought out by the Vaffel Foundation. It was a buyout, Bro... Brodington. Get me a buyout. Thanks to the sweet cash infusion, we outsourced the whole drilling to some of our other brothers. So now we're a lead employee of Boy Fawful. Salary's great, Brody. Insane benefits. Trust me, this Fawful Express that Lord Fawful built is super awesome. Want a ride, Broton? Although, come to think of it, bro, it's a pretty pricey ticket. Maybe too posh for you. Even if you sold this cruddy old castle, you still couldn't afford it. Treason! King Bowser, sir! You better not make enemies of those guys! Yeah, for real! Besides, uh, didn't you come here looking for a star gear? Oh, yeah, the star gear must be in this room. The star gear must be. It must be secured in that safe, sir! Safe? Where? That? Not a good idea to stand there. All aboard the Fawful Express, Bowser, move. Please move and avoid this horrible boss battle. this minigame time. Yes, 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 yes. We know how this works. We've done it twice now. As soon as we get this over with, the worst part of the game will be done and over with. And that will be exciting. It will be very, very exciting. Because, let me tell you, I can say as much as I want about this boss battle, but until you see it, it's just... there's no words. There's just... And I'm actually being calm about this because... well, this little part, because... Every time I replay this game, this is the main reason why I'm like, uh, I don't know if I want to, because it's kind of terrible. But anyways, I digress. We'll see what it is as soon as I'm done with this. And we're almost up there. A few more shots. Probably these two. There we go. 
now for this part. Yep. As it always does. Okay, get away. Get away. Eh, that was close. I don't like this thing when it's this close to me. Because then I can't dodge the shots very well. I'm actually surprised I haven't took a hit yet either. I usually do. I usually do with this terrible minigame. Giant battle? Let's go. Bro, was Bowser a pushover or what? Totally, Lord Favel is gonna be loving us! I mean, you compare Bowser to a Fawful Express and it's like, Broski, do it as puny. Don't doubt him. Uh oh, what in the... Bro, no! Yeah, you weren't expecting this, were you? Didn't think so. How's it going? Showtime. Hold on while I adjust the screen here, guys. And welcome to the most gimmicky fight in the entire game. Danger, bro, what do we do? It's all good, bro, check it out. Broingtons, look over there. A rickety bridge. That thing will collapse under this guy's bulk. And then he'll fall all the way into the valley. The big dude's going down. Nice, big bro. Total genius. Let's cruise straight for the bridge station. If we can pass that station, we win, bro. Distance to the bridge station is a hundred kilomoles. He's coming! Move! By the way, there might be some swearing in this fight, just to warn you now. This is my third attempt at doing this. We stopped. Everything okay? Worry not, broski. That guy's punch is no problem. Unless he spits fire, we'll take zero damage. Nice, big bro. I can already hear the dude crying. So, as the moles explained, this fight's going to be all fire, all the time. <sighs> Highly recommend you get excellent greats, because you want to take down as much HP as you possibly can with this thing. Because if you don't, then you're gonna run out of turn, and you're gonna have to do this all over again. And nobody wants that, especially me, because I can't tell you how much I hate this. That's what I'm talking about. And of course, this gimmicky stuff does not stop here. Of course not. There's gonna be more obstacles in the way as we go, too. as we can, but naturally, because this is more of a timed boss fight, you definitely don't want to waste your time healing if you can so help it, because that is a waste of turn, and you want to get this thing's HP down as fast as you can to get this over with. Almost down the half lane. That's good. Obstacle number one. This is probably where I'll take some health damage because I usually don't break this thing in the first try. Oh, that was really lucky. Good. Obstacle number two. This piece of crap. Better make repairs while he's occupied. Oh, God. So, you want to get this thing out of this giant hill as fast as possible because, as it explained, he's going to sit there and he's going to 
make repairs to the train. You'll see that there's uh, clouds with water. That will heal the hill. Anyways. <gasps> Keep on the flame because not only does it do extra damage, it damages the train too. Which is exactly what we want. Now I always fail at this particular part because... Oh wow, that's good. Because I usually click off and then it's like, oh, you're gonna die. So anyways... Get this hill down. That's good. The thing we don't want is we don't want those white clouds taken away our advantage either. Because not only is our advantage going to be gone, but that's a terrible thing to lose, is an advantage. Come on, you stupid hill. Die. Almost there. We almost there. We almost there. Come on. There we go. That's what I was expecting the first time around. <sighs> I'm afraid that I'm not going to be able to do this the first time, but we'll see. We will see. Come on! Go! Oh, that's what I was expecting before, too. Just needed two more clicks. I wish that the thing would go back and hit him, but of course it's never gonna be that easy. Okay, we gotta make this count. God, what are you? Alright. So close. Please give me one more. One more. One more. It's all I need. This is our last chance if we're gonna make this count. missed. Come on. Yes. Yes, he's done. Get out of here. Get out of here with your crap. You're done. You're done. Give me the boss fight. Done. Yes. So glad. So glad. That is done and that is over with. Excuse me while I go adjust the screen. So glad that's over with. You don't even know. You don't even know how happy I am. That's done. Three attempts later, I have to say. That's all you got, train? Bowser wins again. So, what was I doing? That's right, the star cure. Better go check that in that safe back at the castle. King Bowser, you're okay? Of course. That star cure is in the safe, so I'm sure. Yeah, I remember. I didn't know what that thing was, but it looked pricey, so I stuck it in the safe. Begin safe incursion, sir. Mm -hmm. King Bowser, is something wrong? The Bowser?
closer? I forgot it. Sir? The save combination. I forgot it! What? Come on, you stupid brain. Stop being stupid and remember the stupid combination. Your forgetfulness. Get a hold of yourself. Ha, ha. No use. Can't remember. Hey, Chippy. Come on, Chippy. No need to shout. I hear you. Forgot the save combo, huh? Yeah, I did, but you can find it. Look around inside my head. It's in there somewhere. Find it. You tell. I don't like it. What? That haughty, commanding tone of voice. I don't like it. Go help yourself. What the? Hey, find it. Find it, please. Find it, pretty please. That's better. Okay. The inside of your head is fragile, so stay totally still. I'll go look. Be right back. Okay, this is it. Nobody will get that star here without the save combination, so we better help Bowser. Let's head for Bowser's head. Indeed. Alright, I think I'm going to stop here, so until next time, glad that's over with. So glad. See you guys later.